crucial for looking at valve function and heart function uh, and the effects of, of modern heart technology exactly. and highly educated physicians sometimes, uh, sometimes can do amazing a, things. Different diagnosis can be life-saving. For example, if there's uh, an emergency and there's accumulation of fluid around the heart, that can be drained right at the bedside. But it uh, takes many needle. heroes along the way to simply get to this point. If the patient can't make it to the hospital, we can't do them any good. EMS Fire, what's the address of the emergency? Uh, I had dinner on the table and I went out to tell Mike to come in. He was doing some yard work and he wanted me to see what he'd done and that's the last I remember. I turned around and she was falling over. The chain of survival had just begun. A loving husband calls 911. Thankfully, he had been previously trained in CPR. I didn't get very nervous or anything at the time. Uh, I think I did pretty good, you know, while I was on the phone with uh, 911. We're there to provide the help until the paramedics can arrive on scene. So when you call, you're not just saying, okay, where's the ambulance? You gotta wait five minutes for them to get there. We're able to assist you and give you set instructions to help you. And you know, basically she was telling me what to do, although, you know, when she was telling me it, the stuff I learned in the class was coming back, you know, and I was remembering. Clear Spring Fire Department did high quality compressions and used an AED. The heart restarted. Then EMS induced therapeutic hypothermia. The Greenville County EMS is something to be very, very proud of. And they have been very aggressive uh, in diagnosing and starting diagnosing patients and treating patients right at right at the patient's house. And that includes not only getting an e, a 12 lead EKG, for example, to determine what the rhythm is, whether they're having a heart attack, but also even starting the cooling process that we talked about. You, you started the code chill yes. thing in, in the ambulance, is that correct? Yes. yes. I think that had a lot to do with her recovery. We basically cool the body down, cool the brain down, cool the heart down, let all those organs recover. Um, and I think that's really led to a dramatic increase in the number of survivors, not only people just getting out of the hospital, but getting out of the hospital with a good outcome. God was there too. <laughs> Outcomes that deliver smiles. Husband and wife together, thanks to the chain of survival and a heroic husband who knew CPR. Mm -hmm. I, did you know he knew CPR? No. You do now. <laughs> I do, and I'm glad. <laughs>